it's not a surprise that the pressure then for re-election and his own ideology would probably lead him to be one of the first candidates to, to kind of break with the party on this one. To get the job, President Donald Trump's Supreme Court pick needs 60 yes votes. Indiana Democratic Senator Joe Donnelly says he will be one of those 60 votes for Judge Neil Gorsuch. In a statement released over the weekend, he says he believes that Gorsuch is a qualified jurist who will base his decisions on his understanding of the law and is well respected among his peers. However, fellow Democrats don't agree. Based on Judge Gorsuch's record at the Department of Justice, his tenure on the bench, his appearance before the Senate, and his written questions for the record, I cannot support this nomination. IPFW political science professor Mike Wolf says Donnelly probably won't see much backlash from his own party. There's always backlash, but I think um, his fellow Democrats would probably like him to have a better chance at re-election than, uh, than lose that seat. And so they probably understand the kind of pressures that he's under here. The road to 60 is looking to be an uphill battle, with Democrats threatening to filibuster. But Republicans plan on changing the rules of the Senate and allowing Gorsuch to move forward with just 51 yes votes. Already the Democrats have got done away with it for lower federal court nominations. And uh, using that precedent, the Republicans will probably push this to a simple majority vote uh, to match other judicial nominations. However, Senator Donnelly doesn't agree with the potential rule change. In his statement, he says he believes that we should keep the current 60-vote threshold for Supreme Court nominees.